Hey guys, I wanted to shout this video out to Rebecca Cosme. So, uh, Rebecca, uh, excellent job uh, for playing six and a half months. I would say you are far ahead of most, doing some really great things. Uh, you just played for me, I just saw a video, and I wanted to give you some tips. So, the biggest thing is with the left hand, is that you sort of have to just really understand what's going on with what I call the, the knuckle rack. And the knuckle rack is just basically each finger knuckle should be really still when you're playing the violin. So when you're playing, it's really easy as fingers start to extend, start to move, just anything that happens, the knuckle rack sort of starts to change. And whenever I see that happen, it always tells me that a student is relying too much on the hand to find notes instead of just the fingers. Okay? I want you to notice how when I push my fingers down, how my knuckle rack sort of stays the same right now. And now, now I'm going to do it differently with too much reliance on the hand. Do you see that? So what we have to learn to do is to have total um, fluidity with the finger and while doing that not actually move the hand. So here's a good example of me doing it. So if I was to play like the hardest concerto for the violin, uh, this is how, how it would look as far as my hand. I'm going to play the Mozart concerto in G. So you wouldn't expect that what I just did there was in Suzuki Book 10, but that shows you exactly how we have to have so little pressure on the fingerboard. And while doing that, the knuckles stay really still. And the reason why this is so important is that what you're going to find is a lot of separation of notes. Like you're going for like the first finger and then all of a sudden you go to the four, or you have a low one and all of a sudden you have a high three. If you're in the reliance stage of really using too much knuckle, you're going to have a really hard time playing fast. This is playing fast. If you're relying too much on that hand to move. So the biggest thing, Rebecca, is just work on your scales because it's going to be tough to, to change, you know, in a couple of days, but you're already on the right track. Just try to do your scales really, really slowly and just try to have minimal attack, I'll call it, and maybe record yourself like you've been doing and just pay attention to that knuckle rack um, to where it shouldn't be moving at all. Hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to be putting together a lot more videos here in the next few days. Uh, please join my adult learning group. If you don't have a link to that, you can easily get one by emailing me at michael at superiorviolins.com. And would love to help you guys out if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching.